Let's talk about growing lettuce in arrow gardens or other small containers. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the things that I like to talk about quite a bit is variety choice. Now, a lot of people have definite preferences, whether it be a uh, sweet or crunch, maybe like a romaine, or the typical store-bought iceberg. Uh, some people prefer butter crunch, has a little bit more of a buttery, you know, I hesitate to say buttery because, you know, if you compare butter crunch to true butter, there's, there's no comparison. It's, it's just a slightly more creamy, uh, mellow flavor. And the varieties that I like to grow are the Romaine because I prefer that crunch, that uh, sweetness, pairs up well with a lot of things that uh, I do in the kitchen. Now, the plant that you see behind here is a type of Romaine and it's called Vivian. Now, the thing about Vivian is it is a larger variety of Romaine and this particular uh, head of lettuce is right about uh, 12 inches in height and about uh, 12 to 14 inches across. Uh, I've had another one on the right side of this Air Garden Bounty, which is 40 watts of uh, LED lighting. And instead of having seven, uh, or in this case with these newer Air Gardens, nine heads of lettuce, I find that I can do easily uh, three heads of Vivian lettuce. And the Vivian lettuce grows, as I just was pointing out, larger. And you could quite quickly come in at day 22 and start harvesting if you want. You've got your choice. You could take the entire head off and harvest that allow the uh, other two heads and then eventually the third head to be harvested. Now, by doing so, that makes a, an easy way to just uh, cut that off at the bottom. And I like to uh, drop those into like a gallon Ziploc bag. And the gallon size even is a little bit on the small side for this uh, head of lettuce. But they keep in the fridge a lot longer than your store-bought lettuces will, too. And because the Vivian lettuce outdoors has a maturity date clear up to around day 70, this particular head has been growing for 41 days. It will keep in the air garden until I use the heads that I've harvested. As a matter of fact, I took another head of that uh, home uh, several days ago and have been enjoying it even last night. Here's a uh, picture of a uh, salad that I was eating along with uh, some air garden tomatoes and, and uh, some cucumbers that I've been growing. And it's so nice to be able to just uh, pull those and have fresh foods, not have to worry about the uh, scares with uh, E. coli and everything else that I'm hearing about in stores with packaged lettuce and other packaged vegetables. One tip that I have mentioned in the past is the Air Garden Sprout has a deck that has three sites in it. You could easily start uh, three heads of romaine lettuce, move those over to a larger bounty unit, and then you could uh, harvest the uh, mature heads. You could start up another group of three young plants. And so when I harvest this last head, I will have uh, some in the sprout that will be of about that size that I could drop into the bounty and actually in only about seven days, uh, those little heads of lettuce that I move over will have grown substantially. And so with just uh, two units, I could be in lettuce all year long with some of the best tasting lettuce. So that's my tip on lettuce and doing a lot with a little. And if you want another couple tips, some people will come in and they'll take the outer leaves of the lettuce, the ones that start to drop a little bit, and take those off at the base and leave the center of the uh, lettuce head, and then come back as the uh, head starts to grow out again after taking off these big leaves. 
what will happen is you'll be able to continue to harvest those outer leaves of lettuce over an extended period of time, coming back about every uh, couple weeks and doing the same thing. Other people would like to uh, cut the plant off, leaving a, about a third of the height uh, remaining and then what happens is the stump or whatever you call that will start shooting up leaves and that will allow you to also get additional harvests out of one plant. So I hope this helps and happy gardening.